couch Dogs need adolescents Hey, this is Safi Vavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another view request. In this video, we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of Fields of Gold by Sting. A beautiful song. I also added an intro to it based on Eva Cassidy's version. If you haven't heard Eva Cassidy's version of Fields of Gold, I wholeheartedly recommend it. Go listen to it. It's unbelievably beautiful. Some say it's even better than the original. First, I'm going to play the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen, as usual, for, um, for an easier learning experience. First, it goes like this. Enjoy. Ready to start? Let's start. The intro starts with a finger on the third fret of the E string, the G note. You play strings one, two, three, and six for an E minor chord with a high G note. Now, um, the next uh, finger position is just three on the A string with your third finger, preferably. You'll see why in a second. You play that. Then you can play the open G string. And the melody is two pull off to zero on the E string. Okay, that's why we're using the third finger for the C bass note, so we can keep it on and keep the note ringing while we play the melody. Okay? Then we outline a D chord. Three on the second string and the D string. You can play them together, you can play them one after another. Okay? Or if you want a more uh, distinctive D chord sound, you can add two on the third string as a harmony. Okay, but I prefer keeping it simple. It's a quiet song, so I prefer keeping the, um, the music very simple, very minimalist. Um, then you play one three on the second string, and then the G bass note, three on the sixth string. And then you can harmonize, um, harmonize, I mean, arpeggiate. You can arpeggiate the chord if you want. Okay, but again, keep the arpeggio very, very simple. Um, you can also arpeggiate the E chord at the beginning, the E minor chord. Okay, just keeping it simple. And of course, uh, Whenever you play a melody, you can harmonize with the lower string. For example, 
Okay, this, the two on the G string. And then with one three on the second string, you can play the G string as a harmony. But those are just options, just suggestions. You don't have to do them. You can just play it um, as written in the tab. Now for the verse. You start with E minor again, but you play three, two on the E string and then E minor with an open E string as the melody. Again, strings one, two, three, and six, or just the bass note. Sometimes that's enough. Right? Just the bass note by itself. Then 3-3 three, three on the 2nd string. Again, you can harmonize with the open 3rd string. Or... So... And I added a small embellishment, just a slide from 2 to 3 on the E string. Um, that's the next one. And then... Um, you do it again, 3-2-0, but with the open E string, it's the C bass note. And then 3 on the 2nd string, open E string. So again, you can do this any way you like. C, and then adding the 3 on the 2nd string, making this a C add 9, or starting with just the bass note. Harmonizing with the G string. Actually, in my opinion, that's the best option. And then, um, this. A hammer-on from 4 to 5 on the 4th string. Then the open E string. Now, you can play the C bass note with the open E string, or the E string first, then the C bass note. Okay, both of them work fine. And then 3-3 three, three on the second string again. So your options are or okay, I prefer um, single notes. Okay, just every note by itself. But that's again just my preference, so you can do it together. It works fine. Then this. Okay, after the, this, um, just to put it in context. But I mean, I lost myself there, so maybe I confused you too. Then you've got the open G string. Then you slide from 2 to 4 on the G string. I use my second finger. Then the thumb for the G bass. 3 on the 6th string, then 3 on the 2nd string, using my 1st finger. Now, again, you can harmonize, you can play strings 2 and 3 together and get this. Okay, or keep it in single notes. And let the melody, uh, the harmony, build itself. Okay, single note, then another note, then another note. Or accentuating the harmony. Again, it depends on your own style. Then the E minor C lines again. So let's play everything from the beginning. E minor, C, then this, G. Now um, I played this. I play them together and you see it works fine. Um, then you play the E minor C lines again. And then you hammer on 0 to 2 on the, uh, the third string. Then the open second string. Then you put on A minor and you play strings 2, 3, 4 and 5. Or strings 2, 3 and 5 or strings 2 and 5. Okay, again, depending on your style. Um, 
you can also play A minor 7, you can play the open G string, you can play strings, um, you can play 1, 0, 2 instead of 1, 2, 2, and then you get an A minor 7 sound, um, and it kind of fits the overall harmony here better than A minor, because uh, on E minor, C, and G, you have an open G string, so you can use that as a motif. And that's why A minor 7 works better here. So, is that, you see how it sounds? Um, instead of the closed minor sound, a minor 7 sound gives it an open feel. And then, don't mind him, he's just getting comfortable. Let's make him some room. Um, then you've got an open second string. Then two on the third string with the D string. Then the open third string twice. And you play G. Any way you want. You can also play the open third string twice and with the second G string harmonize with the D and E string. Okay, by E I mean the sixth string. So you've got E minor. C, C, G, E minor again, C, then A minor or A minor 7, D, D5, G. And you play the verse twice, or three or four times. The song has, I think, four verses before the bridge. Um, but you don't have to, you can do it twice. And then the bridge, the bridge starts with C. Now, you can play the bass note, you can arpeggiate the chord before the melody, you can do something like this. And then the melody is one, three, 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 three on the second string. Okay, so you can do whatever you want with the chord. Okay, you can hammer on the three, and as you notice, I harmonize with the G string as my usual embellishment. Uh, then you keep on playing threes, D notes, on the B string uh, four times, but this time with G. Then the open G string. That's the melody. You play this twice, C and G. kind of the same thing with C and G, but with a minor difference and end with one zero on the B string. Let me show you how it goes because explaining it would be very, very confusing because it's one, three, 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 one, zero. Makes no sense. So, okay, you'd better remember the lyrics here. Um, I think there you go, something like this. The eyes on the day still left. Okay, something like this. So keep the lyrics in mind. And just make a line, a melody line out of them. You can change the rhythm a little because it's the same note repeating itself. So just playing it in eighth notes would be very boring. So just try to create a um, simple rhythm. this works. Um, then the A minor uh, D line again. Okay, exactly the same as in the verse. Then the open third string, then the open second string, then E minor. Okay, just simple arpeggio. I played string six, four, three, two. Then the A minor line and the D line again. Then the ending of the verse, the open G string twice into G. Okay. Um, you can also add this. 
if you want. Um, it's unnecessary in my opinion, but you know, some people like to embellish and um, it's my obligation to give all the options I can think of. So two hammer on to four, pull off to two, pull off to zero on the G string when you play the D. Okay, and then I add two pull off to zero, but you don't have to, you can do it like this. Or, or, even four to zero, or overcomplicated. Okay, do it twice. Again, your choice, just an option, just a suggestion. You don't have to do it. You can do it the first time around, second time around, leave it out. There are uh, more than enough A minor D lines here. You can just do it once throughout the whole song and just embellish the third verse or something. So that's the bridge, C. G, then again, then again, but with a slight difference in rhythm, then one zero at the end, A minor D, E minor, A minor D G. Okay, for those of you who want to embellish. So before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons already here for you to learn and I upload a new one every couple of days and a new finger style arrangement every couple of weeks. The link to the tab is in the description. It's for free. Go to the website, download it. Everything on Lick and Riff is for free and will remain forever free. But if you want to give something back and help out with making the lessons and making time to work on the arrangements and such, there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. It's large. It's blue. It says donate and everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making the arrangements and working on them and filming them, editing them. It all takes time and work. And in the meantime, you go practice this. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have fun. Make your own arrangement of this. This is just a suggestion. This is just how I play it. You can make your own arrangement. I'm not in love with my material. I write it to teach. So um, go have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.